Hey everybody, welcome back to The Wealth Around Us. I just thought I'd take this episode to go over some of the stuff we're, get, we're getting ready excuse me, to uh, unleash here uh, shortly. We're getting ready to do another bug out generator. And as you can see, I've got two different options. I'm, I'm going to make two. Right here we have, I'm going to do a review on this, the Coleman solar panel. And on the box it's got this bolted onto the front of a four-wheeler. And uh, what this is is a 12-volt... 4.5 watt, I forget the amperage and all that, but it's uh, 12 volt at 4.5 watts, good, nice, solid power supply. As you can see, even the light in here has it turned on, that blue LED. And we're going to figure out something creative to do with this to turn it into a bug out solar generator. It only weighs, it's, it's a little heavier. One thing I don't like about it already is uh, that I have to say, you should make solar panels out of unbreakable materials because the one I, the first one I got from Walmart had to be taken back because it was cracked right here. And this was the only other one they had in the store. But that's another issue. We'll, we'll talk to Walmart when, when that comes around. This right here I bought at Northern Supply Company. This is a 12 volt battery maintainer. You can hook this up to, on the inside to your car, your cigarette lighter and let it sit there and trickle charge the battery from inside the vehicle, which I thought was really cool. It sticks on the windshield, you just face it into the sun. Uh, this would be a great way to keep the CRV bug out vehicle alive and running, or if I run the battery down, leave it in the sun, I can charge it. There's, I call that a win-win situation. This is, comes, they both come with quick detach ends, and they come with both alligator clips and the cigarette lighter uh, adapter. So that's, that's a really cool thing, and as you can see, even the light, the fluorescent fixture in here has got this thing already putting out. I mean, as you can see, that indicator light is nice and bright. So it's producing right now. Both of them are. I like that one because it's got the blinker, you know, but it doesn't have to blink. But they're both very similar. Uh, they're very lightweight. This one, as I was saying, though, this doesn't have any. This is not glass. It's like some kind of polycarbonate, and it's way more durable than this stuff, as you can hear the difference. But this stuff is glass. This will, this will crack right on you. And that's one thing I really want to watch out for. I might build a guard over it or something. I'm going to have to overcome that hurdle now, though, because it's fragile. And we can't have fragile on the wealth around us. That's not going to do. Well, that was a quick review, and uh, we should be doing another video here shortly. And we're going to be showing you Hank's new uh, bug out generator version 2.0. And it's, it's big, it's batter, it's got survival equipment in it. So uh, it ought to be a lot of fun. Thanks for watching, and see you soon.